Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about industrial accidents and safety, uh, most important to topic of industrial engineering subject. Uh, so, accident is an unfortunate and sudden mishappening which causes damage or loss of property, material or human. So, prevention of accident is expected. Uh, safety management is concentrating on avoiding accident. So, a technical definition of accident uh, that occurs in sequence of event which usually produce unitent injury, death or property damage. Then uh, there are various causes of uh, this accident. So mainly uh, we consider due to worker, then due to management, then due to working conditions and the natural causes. So in uh, if you consider uh, causes of accident due to workers, it include uh, uh, various uh, things uh, just like poor knowledge of work of worker, then overconfidence behavior at the workplace, then uh, lack of concentration, stress in work, overtime work, unnecessary daring, then uh, less work experience, use of mobile while working, unstable mental conditions, fear of accidents, physical problem like eyesight and hearing inabilities, working without authority, bad habit like alcohol, alcoholism, or smoking, then lack of confidence, poor in handling pressure situations, not aware about rule and regulation of that specific work, not following rule and regulation, undisciplined nature. So these are few uh, causes of accident due to worker. Then uh, if you consider uh, due to management uh, or its policy, so it include uh, provision of unsafe workplace to worker, bad construction of plant, then untrained workers, extra load of work to employee, poor housekeeping, then heavy mental pressure on work force, lack of safe procedure, poor discipline of work at workplace, no provision of safety equipment, no plan for plant of protection, bad electrification, faulty equipment, then unguarded move parts, then lack of safety awareness or careless management approach. So these are few causes for accidents. Then uh, third uh, parameter that is working condition. Uh, it include such as uh, poor workplace layout, then poor illuminations, then suffocation at work, bad housekeeping, then poor electrification, chemical leakage, then humidity in workplace, then irregular floor height, unscientific gangways, galleries or staircases, no support at work by work others, then negative competition, then unavailability of basic facility near to workplace. So these are regarding working condition and fourth one that is uh, natural causes for accidents. So it considered mainly uh, earthquake or fluid, then cyclones, temperature strokes, then snowfalls, landslide collapse or we consider heavy rains. Then next, uh, what is the effect of this accident? So again we consider four uh, parameter on which uh, ex, uh, impact is done. That is uh, impact on worker, industry, then Fam, uh, family of worker or employee then ultimately on management also so uh, effect on worker includes uh, mainly injuries to body then loss of skill loss of job leave for recovery then uh, confidence level get hampered then growth in career may get affected and financial loss then uh, effect of industry that is uh, production stoppage, then bad message to other workers, reputation is lowered, 
financial losses for compensating the affected worker, extra cost on recovery of machine, place and building. Then uh, effect on family of worker that is a loss of earning member, hospitalization related time and money losses, attention to patient need, then stability of family in disturbed then last uh, effect on management that is time to solve the cases issue related court policies hospital compensate then status among competitor is affected faith of worker get disturbed more attentiveness become necessary in future so these are uh, some effect of accidents then uh, next that is industrial safety so according to definition, uh, industrial safety refers to management of all operations and event with, within in industry in order to protect its employee and assist by minimizing the hazardous risks, accidents and near uh, misses. Or in short, we can say that uh, industrial safety is nothing but to protect, uh, protect of worker or employees to minimize accidents so there are some uh, safety organization role and responsibility of different level so on broad level uh, this actually this level may be differ from company to company so if you consider broadly so uh, role and responsibilities of uh, maybe board or director or ceos so role and responsibility include uh, to campaigning action to tackle work related safety uh, maybe uh, seeing uh, communication or attention seminar then to provide a com commitment to tackle this issue including uh, providing necessary resources to undertake the management understand or equivalent process and to implement solution identified or to support human resource manage managers and healthy and safety managers in taking action to prevent and reduce accident uh, on next level uh, that is uh, health and safety manager so uh, it include uh, keep up the up to date and best practices related to work related safety uh, then uh, provide information to employee about industrial safety and their obligation to inform manager about risks at work then feedback any wider concern about risks to health from stress at work to broad level then uh, regarding uh, level of human resources manager or hr manager so role and responsibility of hr manager to develop suitable policy to tackle this issue in your organization then to engage and communicate with staff about this issue and raise awareness uh, this may include working with trade union then uh, to support line manager in preventing and managing individual experiencing such unsafe situation then uh, at the level of line manager so role and responsibility of line manager that is to engage and communicate with staff about safety and raise awareness to support and get involved in organizational initiatives to tackle accident then third to be aware and supportive or factor affecting staff uh, on next level that is uh, occupational health services so it include to understand what work related safety then to provide support and individual experiencing work related safety then to help individual return to work successful for example advising on return to work strategy and lastly uh, on safety level officer that uh, responsibility that to conduct monitoring and sampling of spilling oil on scene or provide Continuous monitoring is necessary to ensure work, workers are safely monitored. Or we can say that, um, uh, in short, uh, role and responsibility of each level, that is, uh, 
monitor all safety measures and uh, provide uh, proper uh, awareness regarding safety to the worker or employee then provide proper uh, equipment to minimize accidents then uh, next uh, that is a uh, related with safety programs employed uh, by uh, at different level so it include a uh, safe working method that is a uh, possibility of accident should be eliminated at that by considering uh, proper deciding the method and the operation next uh, proper selection of worker uh, it include uh, worker should be uh, mentally stable emotionally balanced or worker uh, having good ability of to manage uh, current situation or at the time of uh, or uh, we can say a good presence of mind then uh, third that is a training for safe working so the trainer uh, training of worker is the ensure of safe working and is one of the preventive measure to provide uh, sorry to avoid accidents next uh, accident prone area uh, where uh, we consider the maximum possible area uh, maximum accident is more so that is uh, accident prone areas then uh, safety device so using of safety device we can minimize um, accidents so it include helmet goggles then breath purifiers bags then hand gloves safety shoes apron then protection shield then a uh, safety programming so a systematic working with safety is possible through establishment of safety department then uh, safety program include safety provisions finishing of rotary and moving parts then provision of fire extinguisher or major safety equipments then uh, promoting safety awareness in employee then uh, last but not least uh, some general safety rules and regulations uh, uh, few are uh, discuss we will discuss that is a uh, keep work area clean then uh, use of proper tool for job then always wear the proper pp uh, that is uh, personal protective equipment for the work task then never work on live equipment then make sure chemical are properly labeled and stored then communicate hazards to other personnel then stop work when needed to address hazards so uh, these are a uh, few uh, safety rules i am noted here uh, then still uh, there are number of general uh, safety rules uh, such as um, all injuries must be reported as soon as possible then no alcohol use allowed during lunch break then all guard must be kept in place so there are number of general uh, rule for safety uh, that depend upon uh, nature of working condition or nature of uh, production system or company so uh, in this way we discuss shortly uh, the industrial accident their effect then uh, causes of that accident then in what is industrial safety industrial uh, safety programs and general rule and regulation so hope so uh, this is help to you and thank you for watching